guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using and reviewing and first impressioning the new Bleach London eyeshadows. So this title of the video is obviously the price of these eyeshadows, which is £3, which I think is crazy. Obviously Makeup Geek is really inexpensive as well, but these are even more inexpensive. So I thought it would make for quite a cool video to test these eyeshadows out, see if the quality is there or see if it matches the price. If you'd like to know how I got on and how I created this eye look, then please keep watching. Hello. So, we're trying out some eyeshadows. I'm very excited. Very excited. <sighs> so, these are the Bleach London single shadows. And then I've got two fancy little pressed glitters here. So we're going to try these out because they're only three quid each. Well actually, where's my phone? I'm going to double check the price of the glitter. So I got a PR box from Bleach London. Very cool PR box. Kind of want to be a Bleach London girl. The way that they all look in their magazines and stuff. They look sick. So we have Glitterati which are the two solid glitters, are £5 each. And then the eyeshadow singles, which are called louder powders, very cool again, are only £3 each. I needed to try these out. These are the cheapest single shadows that I have come across. The packaging and the kind of brand branding is the coolest thing ever. They've done such a good job. So I just really wanted to create a makeup look using these. And the Bleach London palette this size, this is the large one, is only £10. And it's really cool, it's obviously magnetised and then it says, you can't really see it because of the shadows, but it says Bleach London underneath it. I've already done my base, if you're wondering what it is, it is the new Huda Beauty foundation. I have done a video for this already. Is it up yet? Don't know because I'm filming it in the same day, like a champ. So, let's just get started. I'm really bloody excited. So the look I'm going to create, I don't know, I really don't know. Obviously the colours that I am really interested in are these warm tones, but people get really annoyed at me for using them too much. So maybe I'll do something a bit more colourful. Let's just try. I've not planned out my look, but I'm just going to try these shadows. The only thing that I would say is the colour codes are not the easiest they're a little bit weirder, so I'm just going to point to the colour and then what I'll do is... This is hard. Because all the shadow names are pretty strange. It's like TD4MA, which means matte, but maybe it's just TD that I'm meant to look at. But then what if this one's called TD as well? VS? Not sure. So I don't know how I'm going to do that, but what I might do is I might look through the ones I use and then list them down at the end. That's what I'll do. Effort. But I love you and that's why I'm going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build up my crease. I am going to use a warm colour just because that's what I would usually do. I don't want to go into this palette and start doing some crazy shit. And it's not going to work out because I'm trying out two weird techniques. Yeah, I just want to give it a fair, a fair go. So maybe I'll start with this orange here. Not much kick up at all. And I've already prepped in my eyeballs with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to mattify my eye. Make sure that there's no moisture on my lid that's going to mess up the shadows. So I'm just using my Fenty powder just to mattify my lid. I really hope these eyeshadows are amazing because if they are, what a bargain, seriously. I have used this one before, just here. I did a video with Cult Beauty because that's where these shadows are sold. I got a video done with Cult Beauty and I used that eyeshadow and I really did like it. I'm going to use a fluffier brush. Oh, it was me, you in. How rude. So I'm going to use this orangey colour to start building up my crease. Good so far. Nice. Three pounds, man. And I'm just using a little Zoeva 227 brush to get this started. And the reason I like using a warm transition colour is just because it blends really, really easy. Oh, you guys know. I think what I might do is I might actually do my usual warm crease, but I'll try out that blue glitter. How does that sound? Is that freaky enough for you, lot? Okay. Nice. Can't really go wrong there, right? Let's go in with a deeper shade. Let's go in with this colour here. This is like, oh. So this one seems to have a little bit more kickback. Not a bad thing. Doesn't bother me too much. It's not too much fallout. It's not like falling out the pan or anything. We're going to just build that up a bit. And going right in the crease, I'm going to do my usual and I'm going to bring that right in to my inner corner. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That colour is really nice. It reminds me of a colour that you'd find in a Lime Crime palette. 
gonna get a fluffier brush. Oh, I like this brush a lot actually. This is the Morphe E27 brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that orange. I'm just gonna use this to really buff it out. This brush is really kind of big and fluffy, so it's good for exactly that. Buffing it right out, making sure it's super blended. One thing I would say is they're not crazy pigmented upon like first application, but you can really build them up, which again, suits me just fan. Doesn't bother me at all. That's amazing. I think one of the reasons I was really excited about this brand when they were launching makeup is because Lou Teasdale, who I have had the pleasure of meeting a fair few times now, she's so great. She has had a huge part to play in this brand, in this launch, so I was really excited. It is the coolest brand and ever. Like, part of me is like, oh man, I wish I'd thought of that. Because you'll see it when you look at all the packaging and stuff, it just looks sick. I'm just going in with a little bit more of that ready colour. In my inner corner. Oh my god. These are so great. The two colours that I've picked so far anyway are brilliant. Don't know if the formula changes at all between them. So those two colours are my total jam. I would wear these a lot. Okay, what's next? I feel like I'm gonna use that blue glitter so I don't wanna to go too ham, you know? Maybe I'm just gonna go under my eye with this color again. We're gonna start getting that under eye smoke that you all here for. So I'm just gonna go in with that same ready color and we're gonna go under the eye. Yeah, that's amazing. That color is so lovely. Three flipping pounds, three pounds, three pounds. So impressed. Do you know what's really nice about it as well is obviously these are total drugstore prices, right? But it doesn't feel drugstore. It doesn't like see the packaging and stuff. There's still so much like attention. They all come like individually wrapped in this really cool little sleeve. Like it doesn't feel drugstore. It doesn't feel like the price that it is at all. Oh my God. See, I could just leave it like that. Like that's two eyeshadows and I bloody love it. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in my inner corner a little bit more with this red shade. We're getting like an almost soft spotlight eye. I think that the branding and stuff like that, it suits a more grungy look. This might look really crazy, but you guys always say that you want bright eye colors. So I'm gonna use this yellow. It's really calling to me. So I'm gonna use a little flat brush and I'm just gonna use this in my inner corner and see how we get on. Okay, so that's nice, but it's not as bright as I thought it would be. It is still lovely though. I think, do you know what would look good with this? So see if you were to do a cut crease and use a white base, that would make it so much brighter. Oh, I that, you can see it. Maybe just because my skin tone. It's a cool little touch. I'm gonna go in with this gold that I've used before because I know it's so lovely and really pigmented. And I'm gonna go just under my tear duct just there. I'm just gonna bring that into the inner corner a wee bit. I think I liked it better before, that's annoying. I'm gonna just go and smoke that out again with that ready color I love. Mm. So that's like a little touch of yellow, which is quite nice. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't wanna overwhelm my face with color, you know? Right, I need to try one of these glitters out, but the only one I really want to try right now is the blue, but I think I need to deepen my crease up for that. In an ideal world for me, this is where I would stop. I really like this, but I'm gonna try out some of the other colors. So I'm gonna go in with this navy here and I'm gonna pack this on my lid as a base for this blue glitter. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm just using a really flat brush from Diego de la Palma. And then I'm gonna go in with that wormy brown and I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. I think the same thing for the darker shades. Not crazy pigmented on first application, but you can really build it up. And I'm getting no fallout, which is really good. Packing it on. And then again, I'm just gonna blend that using that warmy red color. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in with my Smith 230 brush and a bit of the blue, and I'm gonna try and blend past my brow, past my brow past the crease into the red. This might go really badly because it's a cool color mixing with a warm color, but maybe not, maybe not. Pray for Jamie. And then we'll go back in with the warm color. Yeah, that's actually fine. That's not bad. Still not really getting any fallout as well, which is really good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that orange 
in the warm colour that I like and just use them to really buff this shape out. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm going to go in with this amazing blue glitter and I don't really know how to approach this. I don't know how to put it on my face. So I'm going to do what I would usually do. Get some of the glitter on my little flat brush I was using for the blue and I'm just going to pat that on. <gasps> put it in the shadow. Wow. That is unbelievable. Do you know what's nice? It's not just one colour of glitter. It's got purple and blue. Uh, I got a wee bit of fallout with that, but that's fine because I've powdered my under eyes big time. So I like that. So I'm going to spray my brush, go into the glitter. I think that's less fallout than I would have got with a loose glitter, so there's that. I think because the blue is mixing with the red tones, it's going a little bit muddy colour wise but it's still blended so I don't really mind. It's still giving me depth. I've got glitter all over my face now but because my foundation's all finished and I'm all matte, I can just brush it off. A lesson I've learned is maybe don't apply the glitter until you're sure that you're finished with your shadow. Or maybe use a different glitter primer, maybe that was my mistake. Thank goodness this foundation is matte, honestly, otherwise this glitter would be in my face forever. I'm going to shoot off and do some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to tell you my thoughts. So you guys, that is the finished look. All I did was added mascara and I had a little bit of lash trouble. Ended up using the Mykonos Lashes by Lily Lashes, that's what I've got on right now. I'm going to show you a close up of the eyes now that they're all finished. So to round up, I am very impressed. I can't believe how inexpensive these shadows are. And like I said earlier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. That is all the colours that I used and I'm going to list them all down below if you guys are interested. But I know that these are all sold on Cult Beauty so I'll link that down below. As well as all the other Bleach London stuff which I'm yet to try. They've got a whole new bunch of kind of hair care and stuff like that. They've also got kind of contour powders and things but I will need to get my hands on them. By the way, the lipstick and lip gloss I'm using is Yash by MAC with the tartiest glossy lip paint. Can't remember the name right now and it's not on the tube but it's the lightest one so I will find that and I'll link that down below as well. So I hope you guys really like this video. Something a wee bit more fun and colourful and also obviously these little guys are only three quid each so I thought it would be really interesting to see if the quality was there and it bloody is. Other than that I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!